Hey everyone and welcome to another edition of Tour Confidential where we discuss the latest and greatest in the world of golf. I'm Ryan Aselta, happy to be joined today by Golf.com's Josh Burhau and former ESPN and SI golf writer Pharrell Evans. And guys, the PGA Tour kicked off its three-week tour through Asia this week at the CIMB Classic where Pat Perez at 41 years old cruises to victory four-shot victory to win his second event in the last 11 months. Guys, this is a guy, Pat Perez. He's won three times, but twice in the last year now. He was coming off reconstructive shoulder surgery. He's 41. He's not your usual guy you find in the gym before rounds, Josh. Uh, is Pat Perez and his type of player kind of the anti-young gun on tour right now? Yeah, he absolutely is. I mean, he, he resonates well to those guys in a way, but I loved his interview afterwards. He says, I'm not going to change my diet. I'm not going to work out. I'm just going to stick to what works for me. And that's the kind of candidness we love to see from our tour pros. And seeing those generations kind of mixed together is great. Yeah, he goes with the Jordan high tops. He eats fast food, doesn't work out. And he says he has no plans on working out for Elda. This is like the every man's golfer on the PGA Tour here. I, I, exactly. I think it's a little bit of a reaction to this, this sort of like pocket player with the physios and this team. I mean, at the end of the day, Pat knows it's about what you shoot and, and uh, how well you play and keeping your card over many years, which he, which he has done. And a lot of these young players, uh, they're kind of like, you know, the legacy of Tiger Woods. And, and Pat is, is, is of t Tiger's era. He's, you know, early 40s. And I think, you know, more and more we're going to see players in their early to mid 40s say, like, look, we're still here. And, and Pat is showing us that. Yeah, when you see a guy like him, you know, we've had this Justin Thomas, Jordan Spieth. They're almost robotic in a sense. They're 24, they're long, they're lean, they win a lot. This is the complete opposite of that, but I think you're right. I think we're going to see more of this on tour uh, as these guys stay healthy. 41, Josh, makes me think of Tiger Woods. If Pat Perez can win at 41, hey, Tiger's hitting drivers now. Can we see Tiger doing what Pat Perez is on tour? Yeah, and I mean, Tiger hit, he hit driver uh, yesterday, and now the rumor is, when is Tiger going to play next? When are we going to see him? Is it West Coast Swing? Is it the hero? Probably not. Is it farther on than that? But you definitely can compete at that level, at that age. Uh, Phil Mickelson has showed us he was competing at the Safeway just a couple weeks ago, and Phil's, what, six, five or six years older than Tiger? I mean, if Tiger gets his game together, he's going to change his swing a little bit. He's going to have to do some things differently. This isn't the Tiger of old, but yeah, I think this gives him some hope. Yeah, let's stay with that age thing, Pharrell. I'm going to list off some names for you here. Jim Furyk, Matt Kuchar, Phil Mickelson, Stuart Sink. I mean, the youngest guy there is 39, growing up to uh, Mickelson, who's 47. Would it really shock you if any of those guys went on tour this year? Oh, not at all. I think, I think Mickelson, of, of that group, he's, he's probably the best bet. I mean, he, he's played the best in that group uh, in, in the last month or so. And we can go, I remember, you know, Jay Haas was, was one of those guys in his early, early 50s, uh, making a Ryder Cup team. Uh, Fred Funk won in, in his late 40s at the Players' Championship. I mean, you know, you know, going all the way back to Ray Floyd, guys can play well and not work out. And, or it's Sam Snead, who's still the oldest player to win on the PGA Tour. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if Phil won multiple times. I think Phil has a little issue. He needs to find a full-time caddy uh, who he's happy with. And so I think when he fi fixes that, I think he can be as good as the 35-year-olds. And don't forget Davis Love, of course, one on tour yeah. at 50 years old. How important are these type of guys, Josh? Not just the older guys, the guys that are relatable to fans. Mm -hmm. Some of them are cartoon characters. Like we've seen like uh, a John Daly, a uh, Craig Stadler back in the day. I kind of think Perez fits that mold. Mm -hmm. um, is there another guy like Perez on tour? And how important are they? to have on tour for the fans. Well, they're greatly important to the tour. And, you know, Perez is, John Daly's a little more eccentric than Pat Perez, but I think they're kind of in the same group there. John Daly, there was almost a countdown until he was going to be on the Champions Tour. People were looking forward to him being on that tour so much. And we can relate to some of those guys who let us in a little more. I'm not going to relate to a pro taking a private jet to Jupiter after a tournament. I'm going to relate to John Daly throwing a wedge in, into one of the Great Lakes at the PGA. I mean, they're like us, and we like to cheer for people who are like us and who we can relate to. You echo that, Pharrell? You know, I love it, but it's not realistic. The, the money is so big. The, there's, there's it's proven metrics around, like, the uniformity, working out, doing stuff a certain way, 
And I think you're going to see fewer and fewer of those players who, these, these maverick type players who, like the John Daly's, uh, the Fulton Allens of the world. Uh, so it would be great, but the money is so big now. And there's such a premium on being prepared on Thursday morning to play. Uh, and so I love it, but the money's too big now to take any chances with being like cool and different. Yeah, and these guys certainly aren't going to change. We see uh, Beef Johnson there. We don't see Beef uh, <laughs> working out of the gym all too much these days. Pharrell, Josh, thanks for being with us. And that's going to do it for this edition of Tour Confidential. We'll see you right back here next week on Golf.com.